hello everyone welcome to another video in this video i'm going to uh, explain our new project uh, sp.net mbc project uh, let me just uh, build so asset management system uh, we have this project uh, in previous version uh, with dotnet 8 so we have updated this project uh, into dotnet 8 so let me just run the project uh, so we jumped dot uh, net 6 to dot net 8 so we have add one new report as well uh, asset info report uh, so project is running and if i going to the browser localhost uh, 5000 localhost 5006 uh, login and uh, if i just copy the login so this is the demo account we have the account uh, my details and the login details just a copy button and also you can clear so copy so this is the uh, asset management dashboard once you log in then you can definitely see this is screen a recent uh, some total asset summary of the this project uh, into, into number and the recent uh, added asset and the pie chart for uh, the asset based on the asset status and the user details so dashboard uh, in the asset we can create new asset let me just create one sample asset so that uh, you can get the uh, get this application overview and uh, let's, let's say iphone 15 uh, pro next it should be asset name model let's say test 105 and dvd unit price uh, i'm just putting some random number new date of purchase let's say today asset category uh, electronics and uh, the subcategory let's have a uh, desktop computer supplier let's say amazon department it sub department software development also we, you can add the additional information into the other tab uh, date of manufacture year of um, valuation also the depreciation in month that location dhaka warranty in month uh, and also you can add the uh, image for this uh, asset i'm just adding the image and note you can add your note based on your uh, asset information safe so asset created successfully and we can see the asset image already we have added and if we click the id id action details then we can see the asset details so this is the asset entity also you can download the purchase receipt if you add the purchase receipt once uh, uh, once you have created the uh, new asset uh, assign info currently this asset is not using any resource of your uh, organization or of the system user asset history just asset created common history and request log issue log if uh, user or um, organization or employee request some issue and a request block then you can see here so using this application you can create complete asset with the details uh, and also you can assign asset to current organization in your current organization employee let's say also recently we have updated the assign one resource to multiple uh, one asset to multiple employee or resources let's say employee four so you can asset one asset assigned to multiple employee to in your organization <laughs> also you can print edit so in this video uh, uh, this application main summary we have updated uh, this application dotnet 6 to dotnet 8 and add one new report I uh, just uh, give you just a summary overview of this application, create the asset with more details and getting that dashboard summary. I'm um, just jumping to the new item of what we have added in this uh, release. So asset info report. So using asset info report, you can get a complete uh, currently added the asset in your system. 
So we have uh, added some uh, demo uh, asset, uh, which is uh, 13. Also the image details, the asset ID, asset model name, unit price, date of purchase. And you can filter main, uh, main, re main report feature of this uh, uh, report uh, is you can filter by category. Let's say IT, uh, electronics and furniture, just uh, random. And also you can uh, filter by subcategory. So furniture don't have any subcategory. I'm just selecting all categories and desktop computers. So this is the random uh, demo asset. So we have add this and you can print uh, this asset info report. So asset management system, we have uh, some important report and in this uh, release, we have added new report, which is asset info. Also the above some filter option, you can filter this report uh, based on your needs. Also, uh, we have the asset status report. Uh, also, we can uh, filter by start date and end date and asset allocation report as well. And I already explained how you can add asset, also edit asset and print the asset. You can print the asset information. Here is the print uh, preview. Once you click the print button, then it will uh, go into the print action. Uh, so I'm just canceling it and uh, user management. This application is uh, role-based user management. Currently, I just log in as admin user. So admin user, if I going to show the admin user page access detail. Uh, sorry, this is the demo user. That's why we cannot see. I'm just uh, also um, admin user can access entire uh, page of this application but if we're going to log in as a let's say employee 5 uh, let's say employee 5 so employee 5 user cannot access the uh, uh, entire application he or she can access only some uh, like his profile and just one page uh, let me show you employee user 5 and username so i'm just logging as an employee user so as i mentioned employee user can access only his profile and allocate asset only so you can uh, uh, as an admin user log in into the system and change the user action details uh, uh, from the user management by clicking the manage page access also you can create new user uh, by by selecting the manage, uh, asset role sorry user role and uh, manage user role you can create new role uh, here just give me a few seconds i just uh, uh, disable this uh, demo user option so i just enable a uh, remove the demo user uh, restriction so you can create new role and here is the entire application page list you can select all the pages if you are going to create admin user but for demo user you can uh, restrict the page access let's say user you can search the role as well so and if I, I'm going to give you the current role, let's say admin, um, admin user can access entire application, all uh, role is checked, but for the general user only uh, can access dashboard and the user profile. So this is the role based application summary. I already explained asset and user management. Also in the action, you can change the user access by uh, check or uncheck this user role and also we have the asset history in the asset history you can check entire asset uh, history on, like uh, create update operation and uh, then asset category you can create new asset asset category you can create a new asset category and also the sub category we just added some demo item and asset status as well and uh, in the asset details you can uh, add the comments in the comment section you can uh, check the comments and we have a barcode uh, option you can print the barcode this is the asset uh, barcode and the qr code you can uh, print the qr code as well Manage employee, we have the manage employee option, department, sub department, and designation. And the request module, you can request asset 
uh, an asset new asset also the create new issue as employee settings uh, manage supplier company info this is your company info you can change the company logo and identity settings this is the by technical settings email settings for uh, use, new user create uh, email notification and the audit log this is for enter application create update uh, db operation you can check here like create manage user rule i already explained and uh, report so this is uh, uh, we have three report and asset info report so using this report uh, you can uh, okay, like get the entire asset information and filtering by but you can filter this asset uh, report so this is the overall asset management system if i going to give you a uh, main summary this is uh, previously this application was dotnet 6.0 we have updated into dotnet 8 so uh, this is complete uh, application will give you complete source code and the documentation this application is supported ms sql server also the postgresql for dotnet 8 and dotnet 6 uh, also this uh, application support the mysql and uh, this is good first project and front end we have used uh, jquery and tracer and for data grid view managing the data grid view paging sorting and searching we have used uh, jquery uh, data table so hope you like this application with uh, our latest sp.net tech and if you are interested to get this and entire application source code just go to the code canyon i'll share the purchase link in the video description so that you can get, go there and purchase it and if you have any further question clarification uh, know about the project structure and the details uh, you can feel free to uh, directly contact with me on uh, on write down your uh, teacher comment in the comments into the comment section and if i give you the simple overview of this application this is the code first asp.net mbc project uh, we have a uh, list of controller and the list of view and the model and for javascript related front end uh, action we have done here in the js folder we have listed every page have a one folder so this is the simple uh, project overview and uh, i already uh, give you the demo by explaining one by one so this is a very rough uh, and uh, simple overview and if you want to interest to browse this application, I, I, we have a, a live URL. And let me just share with you live URL so that you can check the live demo. I host this application in the live server. Uh, here is the live demo. I'll share the live demo link as well into the video description so that you can check. And live demo, if we log in, so this is the live URL, you can definitely get the same application and also the add, added new report. Hope you uh, everyone like this application and I'm uh, just uh, closing this video and hopefully uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Please let me know if you are interested to purchase this application and if you have any further feedback, if you want to modify, customize this application, this uh, you are always welcome to communicate with me. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.